Publishing uh, Memoirs of a Shell Woman is part of a three-year fellowship scheme between Melissa Karneski and the University's National Fairground Archive, and that's a Creative and Performing Arts Fellowship. So we, as a university and archive, work with an, uh, an artist to bring to life not just the collections, but also to, to inform on her work as a performer and an artist. So we put that in as part of the three-year project. At the end of the project, we do an exhibition of all the collaborations that we worked on together. National Women's Day is a very important event because also Marissa's work is international in dimensions. Her family were refugees from Eastern Europe who came over, and so she, her work is all about how women are dispossessed in history and women are dispossessed in refugee history as well. That it's all about the separation of mothers and daughters and children that you often hear. Uh, and it was the role of the woman in that separation. And when, as part of her work, she retraced her family's steps. So the ghost train, which is the most important part of her work, which we worked on for five years with her, is all about a voice, those lost voices. So International Women's Day was a very important part of the rationale for having the exhibition during that time. She is a performing artist who has spent the last 15 years working on the history of spectacular in, uh, entertainments and looking at the history of entertainments and that informs her work as an artist. Um, her family are Eastern European Jewish family. Uh, she was brought up in London, so she's second, third generation. Uh, and her work has always been looking at the boundaries between public art, entertainment history and informed by the history of entertainment. So this exhibition, for example, part of her work was influenced by the history of Madame Tussaud, part of her work was influenced by show women and she was always, as a performer, wanted to look at the transition from being a performer to a producer to an impresario. Uh, show women are written out of history as well. Everyone knows the showmen, but they don't know the showwomen who run the fairs and run the exhibitions, and that's what an aspect was. So she's trained as a ballet, she trains as a dancer, she's been all over the world with her shows, and every show she does, she takes on a new skill. So when she did a magic show, she learned to be a magician. When she became a, did work on the burlesque and the female body, she trained as a burlesque dancer. Uh, and when she was doing the waxworks, it was very important that it was her body that was the waxwork cast for the show.